Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Two thousand years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. educational system, why we have the worst housing, why we have the worst health care, why I can't open up a business. The Chinese man, he'll come to America, open up a business like that. Why is it with our people, it's something different. It's right. divine. It's God sent. Give me Deuteronomy 15. Come right back. Come uh, right back. 2815. I'm bugging. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 15, we're going to find out why we are in the lowest state that we are in. Right. It's God saying, go ahead. But it shall come to pass. Go ahead. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So you stop right there. What does it mean, my sister in the red car? How you doing? What does it mean, it shall come to pass? What does the word shall mean? S-H-A-L-L. -L. Will. Good. My sister on point. Moses is saying to the children, the 12 tribes of Israel, it will happen, meaning what? Future tense. That's He's right. prophesying. Really? It will happen in the future, you Israelites. Go ahead. Good. But, Go it, ahead. but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. My sister again, what does the word hearken mean? Hearken. Hearken means. What does it mean? What does it mean, my sister? Come to me. Hearken, no. Nope. Hearken does mean? not mean come to me. Hearken means to listen or to hear. The word hear comes from hearken. So if we do not listen to the voice of who? Go ahead. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God, our God. Our God. Possessive. Meaning God is in the God of everybody. That's right. Go ahead. I may say to something. To do. Hold on. I may say something. To do. I don't play. I don't play when it comes oh, to my God. You do? My God is an observed all his commandment uh -huh. and his status which right I now. command thee this day. Oh, yeah. Right now. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So my brother, what I, will I, happen? I, I, I want him to sit for Sister, just, so we understand that. We understand that. Just relax, sister. No, don't me Just relax. I to Howard. So my I, brother. I, I, I am an educated black boy. Sister, sober down. Sober down. Oh. So, so my brother, my family so members, down. what will happen if we did not listen to the voice of the Lord, our God? What's going to happen? Come oh, closer. Okay. Huh? We're going to perish. Oh, these curses answer. will come upon us. I show That's you. what he said. You understand? We're going to read some of these curses. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. 
curse shout out being in the city. What's going on in the city today? Are we blessed? My brother, how you doing today? Are Great we change, good? Brother. Are we good in the city? Nope. Name me some cities where, uh, where it's predominantly black and Hispanics. You got Chicago. Right. You got New York. Right. Atlanta. Los Angeles. Compton. They call Compton Bombing. You and your wife. DC. You right there. Where all the cities that we just named are predominantly what? Black and Hispanics, right? You know how you right. You know they got the highest murder rates. Everywhere our people are got the highest murder rates. Right. Have the highest car thefts. Why is that, my sister? Come, come across the street, learn the word of God. We ain't gonna bite, we only bite food. Read the flyer, read the flyer, big bro. Come close, sis, how you doing today? How you doing? You trying to stay cool? We gonna cool you off with the word of God. Come drink of this glass called the word of God. Come drink of the, of the water of wisdom. Go ahead, where we at? That's right. Curse shall thou be in the city. Go ahead. And curse shall thou be in the field. So where our people reside? Is the what the highest murder rates? They call Chicago Chirac. Can anybody tell me why they call Chicago Chirac? My brother, how you doing? Why they call Chicago Chirac? Cause it got more body, it got more body counts than I than the war Iraq. That's right. That should be shameful. Bring it out. We got we got a uh, hood such as Best Stop, Harlem, right? Uh, uh, Queensbridge, all black and Hispanics. These neighborhoods are what? The worst in society. Why is that? Be verse 16 again. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall our people be in the city. Give me Isaiah 42, 22. We're going to go into that. Curse shall we be in the city. We're going to go into that real quick. We're going to show you another prophecy concerning black men and black women. Because not only do we have the worst ghettos, and you know, get, get, can somebody give me the definition of the of the of the word ghetto? Somebody give me. How you doing, my sister? Somebody look up the word ghetto for me. Definition of the word ghetto. We're gonna show you something today. You gonna find out, you men and women of Mount Vernon, that you are the children of Israel. We are the sons and daughters of God. That's right. Give me Isaiah. 42. There you go. No, no, no. Give me, give me the Webster. It says place of uh, Jews with dwell. Give me that. I do. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. Listen up to this, my sister. We going over the prophecies of God. Us understanding the Bible and the prophecies lets us not understand who we are. That's right. My sister, read. Yes, yes, read this, bro. Go ahead. We're going to read the definition of the word ghettos. Because Harlem is a ghetto, right? Mount Vernon is a ghetto. Chicago, right? Compton, all the neighborhoods that we live, Flatbush, right? All these places are ghettos. Read it. Right. Ghetto, definition, noun. A quarter of a city in which Jews were formerly required to live. Wait, 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 what? home is what? Ghetto. Uh -huh. A quarter of a city in which Jews were formerly required to live. I don't understand. How are we How are we Jews? The Bible is saying the word ghetto means where Jews are forced to live. Yes. Who are we then? I thought the Jews was the white man in Park Slope and all the uh, Eastern Bring it out! What's going on? We're going to show you. We're going to show you. Stay right here, sister. Go ahead. Isaiah 42, 22. Whose phone is this? Oh, Sedan is yours? As a riot? Go ahead. How you doing, my sister? My sister, before you leave. All right. What's your name, my sister? Donna? My brother, what's your name? Eric. Brother Eric, sister Donna, right? Hosea, pleasure to meet you, my brother. Pleasure to meet you, my sister Donna. Brother Eric, let's go into the prophecies of God. That's what we're doing. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. Go ahead. But this people, a people robbed and spoiled. Hold right. on. God is saying to the Jews, this people is a people robbed and spoiled. That's right. Were we not robbed in slavery? Did they not take, did they colonize us? Who are what? The 
the white man, did they not take our riches, our jewels? Did they not take our and robbed our women and our children? Were we not were we not slaves? What are we talking about? 1492, 1619. Were we not stolen from? Right. Bring it out. Come on. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. That's and right. They are all of them sneered in old. They we are all snared. Can somebody tell me what's a snare, my sister Donna? What's a, what the word snare? What does it mean? My sister is 100% on the money. She said snare means trap. What we call the hood? What we call the ghettos? Oh, I'm in the trap. You turn on hip hop. Out. You turn on, uh, 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 what's the radio station? 105 and whatnot. They say all these rappers, they talking about what? We in the trap. We in the trap. The trap house. That's right. We in the bando. We in the trap house. That's prophecy. We right. out here. We not niggas and spicks. We never been, never had. Bring it out. We always been the sons and daughters of God. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Go ahead. They are all of them sneered in old. We in the trap house. This system, America, is a big trap house. That's right. If you didn't notice, America got a fetish of killing. Hispanic men and Hispanic women. Right. This system has always been hell. Go ahead. And they are hid in prison houses. They are, we what? We fill. Go ahead. They are hid right. in prison houses. We are hid in prison houses. Hmm. Let's go to the prison houses. The prison populations. Who fill up the prisons? The majority of the population in jail are what? What race of people? Hispanic men. Why is that? Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 15, verse 16. We going over the curses, the conditions of our people, not the conditions of the white man. If the white man was a Jew, please show me out the Bible. Right. Because these curses only fit the people on this sign right here. The people of this sign right here. Money, money. Go ahead, money. money. I'm a mechanic. Deuteronomy right. chapter 28, verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Go ahead. And curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall thou be in the field. Hmm. Yes, look at history now. Somebody help me out. Brother Eric. What happened in slavery? Sister Donna, what happened in slavery? The Bible said to the Israelites, the 12 tribes, yeah. the men and women that descended from Israel, that you're going to be cursed. Who had to pick cotton, my sister? Us. Who had to work in the tobacco plantations, or the sugar cane plantations, or the indigo plantations? Who? Who? Let's take a picture. Take a picture. Look at the image. God's history is going to let you know who was cursed in the field. Right. Well, I don't see no white people here. No white Caucasian face. I don't see no pale face right here. Bring it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Let your muscle up, babe. Come on. Who's right here, brother? My brother over here. Come close. Who's who fill up these these plantations right here? Black and Hispanics. Are we not cursing the city? I got you. Are we not cursing the field? Go ahead. So what are we reading right now? What are we reading? The question what we read it is the Bible. Right. We are reading our conditions out the Bible, not the Quran. We are not reading the Quran. We are not reading the Egyptian book of the dead. We are not reading the Kabbalah. Right. All these things are garbage. Prove to me a right. prophecy out the Kabbalah. Prove to me a prophecy out the Quran. The Kabbalah, any witchcraft book cannot show you, show us our identity, who we are. Why are we in the bottom of society? Bring it out. Only the Bible has the source and the solution of our problems. Go ahead, where we at? God bless. God bless. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Go ahead. And curse shall thou be in the field. Who was cursed? 
in the field, my sister. How y'all doing? We are showing our people our history out the Bible. Have a minute. Stay here to hear the word of God. What you, what we going over right now, my sister, you're not going to learn from the white man. Believe me. That's you will right. not learn in the Christian church. Believe me. You know what they're going to show you? Get the get Caesar Borgia. Get Caesar Borgia over there. Oh, put that down. I'm going to got you. Put it down. Get me Caesar Borgia. The image of the beast. This is not the image of Christ. Right. When you read the book of Revelation, John the Revelator prophesied of this image. A lot of you look confused. This is not the image of God. Right. This is not the image of Jesus Christ. Right. This is the image of the beast. The white man is a beast, if you didn't know. The red dragon, the horseman in Revelation, is the colonizers. The red dragon is Esau. That's his biblical name. We're yeah, gonna, right. We're going to show you that too. Give me Revelation 1 and 14. We're going to show you. We're going to show you. Because we could talk a good game. But we not like the Christian church. We let the Bible speak. We let the Bible speak. We not like your Christian pastors. We're not your pedophilia. A uh, uh, Catholic priest. No, no, no. We the men of God. We the Israelites. That's right. That's who we are. That's who we be. That's who we, who we always been. That's right. Go ahead. Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. My sister in the red shirt, stay right here. Stay right here. People come and go, but God is here forever. That's Remember that? right. Remember that? Go ahead. Bring it up. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelation, my sister, with the Old Navy shirt. How you doing, family? The word, the word revelation means what? Reveal. The revealing of who? Go ahead. Jesus Christ. Why does there have to be a revealing of Jesus Christ? Right. I thought we all knew Jesus Christ is white. Right. Yeah. John the Revelator seen Christ hundreds of times. Why in the book of Revelation he has to say, I got to reveal you, Jesus Christ. Why? Because he knew the prophecies of God. He knew that we will be destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's right. He knew our identity will be changed. Now he's revealing unto us in the spirit of God The revelation, the revealing of the Messiah Why? Because a false one will rise up Go ahead Verse 14 Go ahead. His head and his ears were white like wool Ooh. Ooh. Who got woolly hair? My sister with the red shirt Who got woolly hair? What race of people got woolly hair? That's the question Black race Say it again, sister. Don't be scared. Don't be shamefaced of that thing. All people got woolly hair. Black That's right. That's the, right. The, I'm going to say it for you. The black man got woolly hair. That's right. Go ahead. Read that again. His head and his hair were white like wool. Right. Woolly white hair. All white. Not that salt and pepper look. You, got, you see how you got that salt and pepper? I see some grays. I see some whites. You still got a little bit of black. Go ahead. His head, his head, and his ears were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. I said that for a reason. He didn't have that salt and pepper look. His hairs on his head and on his beard as snow. A black man with white woolly hair. Hold up now. Give me the image of Caesar Bow. And I'm saying Caesar Bow because in case of you, my brothers and sisters, never knew, this image of, is an actual man. His name is Caesar Borgia. That's right. Take your phones out. A lot of our people don't know this. And the white man ain't going to show you this. Believe me. Right. This is an actual man called Cesar Borgia of the Borgia family. Right. His father, Pope Alexander VI of Rome, hired Leonardo da Vinci to portray his son as the new image of Christ. Right. You know why? You. Come close, brother. Uh, 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 brother Eric, excuse me. Brother Eric, tell me right here. What, what's going on right here? What year you see here? 912 AD. 912 AD. Nearly, nearly 900 years after the death of Christ. My sister, come over here, Donna. Who's this right here? This is a black man, no? This is a black man. Originally, Christ was always known on the planet Earth as a black man. That's right. This image, you find it in Europe. You know who ruled Europe? The Moors. Right. What does the word Moor mean? 
black. The mall is nothing more than a Latin word for black. That's the, right. the Spanish right. call it monero. Black. Right. You understand more? Right. We ruled Europe. The white man will not tell you this. Right. He will tell you we were all monkeys in Africa. Right. We will not show you your history that we ruled Europe for nearly 1,000 years. That's right. As the knights, as the knights of the round table, as the dark knights. You know why they call them dark knights and knights? Because we were black. The knights that were dark black. That's Look right. Like You'll say, damn, he's knight. You understand? So what we going over? What happened, my sister? If we, the world always knew Christ was black, why change it? My sister, how you doing? We going over 900 AD right here, right? This is an image of Christ. You find it in Europe. This is before this image. What happened? Why would they change the image of Christ to a white man? Hmm. Why would they? That's the question. That's the question. Yes, finish Revelation 1, though. Yes, finish Revelation 1. Help me out my head. Help me out here, sis. What's your name? How you doing, sis? Oh, don't be shy. Ah, oh, come on. Right. Ah. Oh. Where we at? Revelation. Don't go nowhere. Don't be shy. Chapter 1, verse 14. Don't be shy. His head and his ears were white like wool. White woolly hair. We reading that Christ has woolly hair. Go ahead. As white as snow. So, right. quick question. Does this image have woolly hair? Does he have woolly hair right here? Not at all. You got woolly hair, right? We got woolly hair. Black and Hispanics got woolly hair. They call it pelo malo or pelo crespo. They call it now woolly hair, nappy hair. Derogatory terms for woolly. Right. Our forefathers never called our hair bad hair, pelo malo or nappy. Right. We said woolly. Right. You know why they say that? Because black is whack and white is right. That's what we learned in slavery. But white is not right. And black is not whack. Black is actually godly. That's right. We come from the 12 tribes of Israel. We are the people of God. That's right. Remember that thing. You're not a Hispanic. You right. know what Hispanic means? The word Hispanic. Hispanic means property of Spain. Hmm. Hmm. That's our nationality. Bring it a nationality. Property of a of a person, a proper a property of a of a country, of a group of people. We more than that. We more than Hispanic. We more than black. Black is just a color. We are the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. Go ahead. Finish that up. We're gonna finish the is the image of Christ. Let's finish that up. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So his eyes were as a flame of fire. When you look at the image of Christ, his eyes is what? The whites of his eyes, when you see my sister, they are what? Red. You go about your day. Because Christ's favorite drink was what? Wine. You understand? Who ever seen the uh, Good Times? You seen Good Times? When they had that episode of Christ, I forgot the brother's name. He said, oh, yes. he looked like, he looked like Wino. Yes, sir. He, oh, that's Christ. That's Wino. There's an old episode of Good Times. Christ was not drunk, though. He drank wine in moderation. You understand? Go ahead. And his feet, like, I to find brass, as if they burned in the furnace. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. My sister, my sister Donna. What's your name? Chastity. I see your feet, right? Back in Rome, they wear sandals, right? I can see your feet right through your sandals, your toes, right? Sister, sister got orange nail polish on, right? I can see your toes, right? I'm, make, I'm trying to make it funny, right? Go ahead, what was the color of his toes? And his feet, like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Stop right there, what color is brass? Brown. Bra brown, good. Brass, good. Brass, brown. Brass is a metal with a distinct color. Brown, brown. it's a brown metal. So, Christ's feet was, he John saw his feet, he said, yo, those are brown feet, not just brown, go ahead. As if, as, and his feet like at the fine brass, uh -huh. as if they were burned in a furnace. As if they were burned in a furnace, not just brown, brother Eric. Look at Eric's feet, black feet. He got the feet of Christ, he got the feet, put the camera on my brother's feet. He got the feet of God. That's, That's right. right. Christ's feet looked at just like this. So if his feet was black, what about his hands? What about his face? 
his skin color was what? Black? Burn, as if I remember growing up in public school, I'm from New York, I'm from Harlem. Growing up in school, we'll say, Daniel, you so black, we'll make fun of black people. We'll say, Daniel, you so dark, you look purple. Damn, you, look, you so black, look like your mama left you in the oven. Remember these things growing up? Yes. Why, why we used to speak like that to each other? Because of the image right here. Low self-esteem. Low self-esteem. This is why our women perm their hair. This image right here. This is why little girls, when they go to pick out a Barbie, they pick a Barbie, white Barbie with white dead hair, and they say, Mommy, I want to look just like this. This is why our brothers are so quick to kill the black man we used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.